This is a Demodex face smite, which I got from the skin uh, of my forehead. Hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Maybe you have already seen my other video where I showed you how you can get those Demodex face mites out uh, of your skin. Uh, probably uh, you have uh, already seen the video. If not, then there is a link somewhere in the corner and also, of course, in the end titles. Now those face mites, they are microscopic uh, little animals that live in the skin. And what I've done is I put some tape over it and then on the tape, there are those little face mites because they like to crawl out during the dark and then they get stuck in the tape. And when you put it under the microscope, then you're able to see them. Now in my previous video, uh, the face mites did not move around, but today it's a little bit different. I'm going to show you now how they crawl around on the microscope slide and here you can can see uh, as a matter of fact uh, one of them that I found. Now the videos are in time lapse, they are approximately five times faster than in uh, real time, but even under the microscope you're able to see quite well that they're moving forward with their eight little legs that they have. Now why do they move? They move because uh, of my sweat, uh, the, uh, the tape was moist um, and the moisture kind of dissolved the glue of the tape a little bit, allowing the face mite uh, to move along and to crawl along. Now in my videos I received a lot of comments of worried viewers who wanted to know what can you do to remove those face mites and I'm saying why would you want to they are not natural part of our body uh, they have uh, been growing on humans for I don't know thousands of years probably ever since uh, humans um, have been around on this planet and uh, unless uh, they cause some problems uh, there is actually no need uh, to remove them I know it's psychologically maybe not a nice idea to think that you have uh, those mites growing in your skin but honestly um, they don't do anything bad. Now, if you want to um, isolate those face mites yourself, uh, then put some tape uh, over your forehead, over here on the nose, those places where um, there is a lot of oil and grease because this is how they like to feed. They like to absorb uh, the oil and the grease um, over their body um, and then this is how they grow. At night they come out to mate, they produce eggs and then you have the next uh, generation. Of course, psychologically, just to think about this might not be the most uh, yeah, nice, nicest thing to think about. But again, don't forget that there are more even bacteria growing on our body and we have body cells. And uh, yeah, it should therefore not be surprising that there are also um, animals as well that grow um, on our skin, in our skin, in our hair, and I don't know, wherever. The body is a very interesting, uh, interesting ecosystem. Well, in any case, uh, if you like these videos, do consider subscribing. Um, I would like uh, to invite you also to visit some of the links that are collected uh, in the description below. And yeah, finally I want to say happy microbe hunting again as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.